you've been in crypto for a while, then you've definitely heard this statement before. It's all in the blockchain technology. Everything is about blockchain. Now, for one second, let's go ahead and define exactly what a blockchain is. What is a blockchain? A blockchain is a decentralized ledger of all transactions across peer-to-peer -peer network. Using this technology, participants can conform, confirm transactions without the need for a central clearing authority. Potentially, applications can include fund transfers, settled trades, voting, many other issues you guys understand. Now, what if I told you there is another way to achieve these exact same results that the blockchain technology is giving us only called Hashgraph technology. Now, before we get into this video, we would really appreciate over here at the Crypto Boys if you guys would like this video and then subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. We've got new videos coming out every single week. We've got lives coming out Tuesday, Thursdays, and every single Saturdays. A crypto weekly wrap up on Sundays and then a couple videos that are new and projects that are catching our eye during the week. Come chat with us and be a part of the Crypto Boys community. When talking about Hashgraph technology, everybody talks about mainly one project. That is Hedera hash graph now just wait one second we've got to we've got to go over something really quick the hash graph can actually be dropped from Hedera I see it all the time and not that they're wrong I mean it is technically correct but Hedera hash graph is like you saying Cardano blockchain or Bitcoin blockchain or Ethereum blockchain you are telling them what DLT or what DAG you are using by just placing it after the project so we're just gonna keep it Hedera in this video. Hashgraph is simply a consensus algorithm that uses a DLT or distributed ledger technology known as a DAG, a directed acyclic graph. Basically what that means is it's pretty much all of a blockchain, but it's a little bit easier and a little bit different way to share data and use the timestamps to make sure that we get consensus in the correct manner and anybody acting within bad faith is not able to cause any other issues during these transactions and to the algorithm. In a very easy way and some down way Way to understand Hashgraph, it's basically called gossip, and that's basically how they're going to send messages between nodes in the Hashgraph technology. Hashgraph technology utilizes something that's the highest security for their consensus algorithm. That is called ABFT, or Asynchronous Byzantine Fault Tolerance. Now, there are millions. There are, there are so many types of Byzantine fault tolerances that they're really too hard to go down, but it all boils down to the first one ever created, the strongest one ever created, and basically what that does is it brings four parties together or however many parties together that has to have an answer a consensus on a yes no problem no matter what and once you make that decision that is the decision you have to stick with you cannot change your answer what this basically means is abft has to make their honest members of the nodes of a network cell be guaranteed to agree on timing and order of consensus in a set of transactions. So some people say you only need a third to mess up the consensus or you only need a third to make you know the algorithm wrong or have bad actors in or whatever you want to call it. However, that's not exactly true because in Hashgraph technology and with this ABFT, you're going to have to have them match up at the same time. So if you wanted parties to work at the exact same time, you'd have to be across the, the whole country or the, across the whole you know network and talking to them at the exact same time to make sure the consensus works. So there's not really a way to make sure those bad actors would be able to take an entire network and make it um, benefit them and ruin others. To put this into like Hedera Hashgraph and their governance council, I know we haven't got into that yet because this is a video about Hashgraph and it is a little bit more about Hedera towards the end, but they would basically have to call up a governor, a governance council, like IBM would have to call Google, who would have to call LG, who would have to call somebody else, and they'd have to get everything together at the same time to again, overload the network and to eventually run the network but it's almost impossible that that happens with the timing of everything and the yes no answer and the abft therefore the consensus would fail dr lehman baird is the one who made up this hashgraph technology very forward-thinking individual and he's also the one who started hedera with mance Harmon. now these two have since moved on a little bit which we'll go over in later videos that's not exactly for this video but to understand hashgraph technology and to get us segued into hedera that is something that's worth noting Dr. Lehman Baird has made some incredible updates to Hashgraph 
Minecraft technology, such as making it open source, which is very important going forward to making sure that this technology can keep moving forward and to keep its decentralized aspects. It has also prevented forking with staking. Some things that were very important to make it open source and why ultimately they decided that this was best for the Hashgraph technology was basically the state of the market, the size of the council, and the security of the network, all things benefiting the Hashgraph technology moving further down the road. You hear it all the time. Hedera is not all that decentralized or it wasn't all that decentralized when all actuality it's probably the most decentralized crypto on the market today let me explain now it's correct they do have this governing council that you do have to be a part of now they have like two three-year sentences or two three-year you know periods they can be on the council or something like that but here's the way we're looking at it is that these governing councils of these governing bodies these massive corporations are the ones making the decision so they're experts in the field it's not us making the decisions it's a little bit easier to then have a bad actor or have bad actors run some of these nodes which is why some of these networks get hacked all the time now with this hashgraph technology and having the governor co governing council come in that is almost nearly impossible and you know good decisions are going to be made moving forward remember there are no employees of hedera just to decentralize it 100% they decided we're going to get rid of all employees we're going to move some of them over the over to swirled labs and a couple of other things but there is no actual employees of hedera which i think is very important especially for this new hashgraph technology that hedera has been using and utilizing even lehman and Mance had both left and now they run Swirled Labs which is on the governing council of Hedera which they couldn't even run it or they couldn't even change anything so think about it you have these networks people that can be a bad actor and pretty much crash the entire network Lehman and Mance said I don't want anything to do with it we're going to turn our efforts over to Swirls and see what's happening there the Hashgraph technology is already pretty much in place and they're moving some things forward with it but that is why Hedera is now that 100% decentralized aspect that really can't get any more decentralized than it is currently right now. Although this is not a video specifically talking about Hedera and everything it has going on, there are some things worth noting that I think you know, need to know about Hedera. Remember, it is bringing a brand new technology into the crypto space in this Hashgraph technology, and it's going to be the first one utilizing it. This could be absolutely massive. There are so many good things going on with Hedera. They need to be talked about more, and I think going forward, they will be. This could be an absolutely massive project going forward that many people see and that many people see as kind of their future and you've got nft protocols going on which love them or hate them you know joe just did a video on that i'll link joe's video below about what we think of nfts we're not the biggest on them but when they get further along especially in their web3 development like hedera is doing right now we do think there is going to be a place for them they've got carbon credits coming on they've got involvement in tracking coming on so they have a lot of big time things that can actually happen for hedera that are way outside the scope the scope of just some nfts and some other digital monkey art. As their eco space and developers grow and they really get to this enterprise level of adoption, which is going to take time, everything starts slow. I still do. I look at Hedera very similar like what Charles Hoskinson did with Cardano. He slow steps the process along the way. That is exactly what Lehman and Mance did with Hedera, setting it up the way they set it up. With Hedera's developmental growth and many developers are joining the community right now with their Web3 involvement, with their carbon credits, with their enterprise level adoption that is coming up right now the main crypto that i see that actually is very similar to hedera that you know the crypto boys love is v chain v chain is doing a lot of the same things that hedera is doing although that's on the blockchain technology and this happens to be hashgraph technology simply put why am i so excited about hbar or why am i so excited about hedera Let's be honest. Here is the mo more simple way to think about it. Let's think of McDonald's as a blockchain, right? They're the first biggest, baddest person on campus. They are the number one. McDonald's is the highest. It is the blockchain that started it all. They are blockchain, right? Now, let's go ahead and think about when Burger King started to come into the mix, when Wendy started to come into the mix, when Chick-fil-A started to come in the mix, when all these other fast food restaurants, which would be your DLT. So think of your fast food as DLT. Think of McDonald's as blockchain think of these other ones as hash graph for now what did that do to the fast food industry or the dlts 
that made everything grow even bigger, even 10 X. So that made everything grow so much faster and so much bigger. It wasn't like DLT. It wasn't like DLT said, boom, blockchain, you're to the side. I'm done with you. I'm never using you again or hashgraph technology. You suck. We're not going to use you. No, they made the whole system that much bigger and that much better. Now you see them on every single corner, everywhere you go and you see all different types popping up. This is a, what I think you're going to kind of see in this crypto community. There is plenty of space for more DLTs to get involved and for the blockchain to keep growing up for the hashgraph technology to keep growing up. And I'm sure there's going to be more if there's not already more in process right now. I'm not here to sell you on Hedera by any means, and I'm definitely not here to sell you on the hashgraph technology. This is something that I was looking into, been looking into for a while now that I really think could take off, especially in the next bull run where I think HBAR could be unbelievable absolutely unbelievable price action i think that they're building the correct way i think they got started by two of the best minds in crypto two of the most underrated and undervalued minds in crypto if you see these guys they are out in front of everything they do not shy away from any questions they they will take interviews with almost anybody i mean these are the two type of people that i want to see in crypto they are not bad actors they know exactly what's going on they know what they've set up and i'm telling you right now h bar and this hashgraph technology might just be the crypto of the future. All right, guys, it's all I've got today, but I do want to hear something from you. Is H bar the future? Is Hashgraph technology even going to be around in five years? Put it in the comments below. Let's chat. I have no problem with doing that. One thing you can expect is a whole lot more information and videos on H bar and this Hashgraph technology. As always, guys, keep coming back to the Crypto Boys. We are making new and great videos every single day, and we love having you guys here. All right, guys, thank you for rocking with the fittest crypto channel on youtube and i'm out